Hello and welcome to PE Buddy. Mr. D here, and welcome to part two of our Biomechanics for Beginners series. In the previous video, we gave you an introduction into biomechanics. Today, we're going to have a look at kinetic concepts. So in this video, you will learn about force, mass, Newton's three laws, momentum, and impulse. Let's get into it. Okay, so kinetic concepts, these relate to the motion of the body and the forces that cause movement. Let's start with force. So force is the push or the pull that one object applies on another, changing its state of motion. It is measured in Newtons. And the sporting example is the bicep curl like we can see in the video here. So first of all, the muscle contracts and this creates a force. Secondly, the force transfers to the tendon and bone and the result is motion or the dumbbell moving. Next, we have mass. So this is simply the amount of matter. It is measured in kilograms. And interestingly, mass and weight are not the same thing. This is a common misconception. So mass is what you are made up of, your matter, etc., and weight is the result of gravity. So if you are up on the moon, your mass would be exactly the same because you're still made of the same stuff. However, your weight would be completely different. In fact, you would weigh nothing because there is no gravity in space. Now we're going to move on to Newton's three laws of motion, which are inertia, force equals mass times acceleration, and his third law, every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So let's dive into his first law for a moment here. This is inertia. So if something is stationary or moving, it will remain like that unless acted upon by external force. Okay, so we're going to try and get our heads around this with a sporting example of a golf swing as we can see in the GIF here. So, the ball on the ground there will not move by itself. It needs an external force, which in this case is the golf club. So once hit, theoretically it would continue going forever and ever in the same speed as it was hit. However, we know this is not actually the case because it slows down due to gravity pushing it back down to earth and there's a small percentage of air resistance as well. So this is inertia. Newton's second law is force equals mass times acceleration. Again, we're gonna use a sporting example, this time weightlifting to get our heads around this idea. So in this example, mass is the weight that is lifted, acceleration is the speed of the repetition, and force is the total sum of one times the other. This is a really useful idea Specifically, if you're in the gym and you want to improve your performance, you can try to increase your weight. That'll increase your overall force. You can try to increase the speed of your repetitions, which will also increase the force. Or you can try to do both. Newton's third law that is every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So the sporting example here is kayaking. This is a very simple concept. The paddle produces a backwards force, as we can see here, it's going backwards, and this causes a forward motion of the kayak, an equal and opposite reaction. Now in theory, these would be exactly the same. The amount of force that is produced backwards would be the same as the amount of motion going forwards. All right, but in reality, we know there are things like water resistance and other external factors, which make this not necessarily the case. And those are Newton's three laws. Second last, we're gonna look at momentum. This is the quantity of motion that an object or person possesses. So the equation here, momentum equals mass, which we've already looked at, times velocity. So velocity is simply speed with a direction. All right, a sporting example is a rugby player. So this guy here, let's say he weighs 90 kilograms, that's his mass, and he's running at 10 meters per second. So to find his momentum, we times those together. So 90 times 10 equals 900 kilogram meters per second. And lucky last, we have impulse. So this is simply how much force is exerted at a specific moment in time. So the equation is impulse equals force times time. Okay, and it is measured in Newton seconds. So in this video here, we, impulse would be the amount of force that is exerted when this lady is pushing the sumo wrestler outside the circle. So there you have it guys, thanks so much for watching. You now know about force, mass, Newton's three laws, momentum, 
and impulse. These are the kinetic concepts that relate to biomechanics and sport. Thanks again for watching. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below and I'll answer them. Uh, if you haven't watched the first video, go back and watch that so you can get the context of this series. And make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next video, which will be the kinematic concepts. Thanks everybody. Bye.